Hello. So here I'm going to discuss an alternate solution to RMO P6. Uh, it's not as clean as the recursion solution, but it's nice. So the problem is that you have a sequence A1, A2, A3 of integers, and you call this a n chain if this one is equal to a i divides a i plus one for all i equal to k minus one. Okay, of n chains, so we have to prove that f of 2 to the m into 3 equal to 2 to the m minus 1 into m plus 2. So, okay, so first, like, I, I, I just call this as a case 0, 2. So, you get that 1 equal to a1 is less than a2 equal to 2 to the m into 3. Henceforth, like, we will assume k is greater than 2. Okay, so now uh, observe that. Every divides a2 divides a3, whatever divides a k equal to 2 to the m into 3. Form 2 to the i into I just call this one thing else. Actually, ar is 2 to the i, it two integers, and one oh, sorry, 0 less than equal to i less than equal to m, 0 less than equal to j less than equal to identify each of these ai with a with a with a unique um, unique ordered pair i comma j which satisfies this thing. So we basically now want to find the number of sequences. This is J. So we know that this is zero and zero because it's one one. We know here it is uh, M and this is one. So now we want this is X, X1, X2, XK minus two, Y1, one. We want these to satisfy that um, zero, XK minus two less than equal to Y2 less than equal to. And none of these should, uh, so all the pairs, dot 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 x k minus two comma y k minus two and m comma one so we are not allowed to do that so we have to find number of such sequences so now we'll make some trivial cases so like case one so like let's say um so let's say like y one is equal to one x one equal to zero so clearly since x one so zero this is zero zero so this is x one y one uh so this is basically so this is, so now this would this would force all of the uh, middle y i's to be one Okay, so now uh, so these can be, so now have to be all distinct. Like this, this can this can be empty also. Like that would just give they are like one less than equal to x i less than equal to m minus one. So so comma two comma dot dot comma m minus one. So that is just two to the m minus one. So case two is. Uh, so that would force y k minus two to be zero. So we have zero zero, um m. So all of these should be zero. Uh, uh this, this can be empty also that would give us zero zero and uh, so like so now these these this can be one less than equal to subset is again two to the minus one so these are case one and case two also no, note that these are not overlapping because here uh is zero as, as as you see here uh so that's equal to one because k is greater than two that's why these two cases are not not overlapping that these are the cases so one case so it will be um so this is zero zero. So now this is non-zero. Dot dot dot. X k minus two. Y one l two. Dot dot dot. Y k minus two. X two. Dot dot dot. Less than equal to x k minus one is less than equal to m minus one. Uh, and uh, less than equal to y k minus two. Less than equal to one. Okay. So now um thing is this thing actually exists. It's, it's not empty. So basically, after case number zero. So now what we do is let there be R distinct to comma dot dot comma x k minus two this two so, okay so if you have R distinct terms so like R can range from um so now what we have is so there are R distinct terms so like of course they have to be in order so like let's say that uh now note that at most one of these can repeat can occur twice so if b two repeats will have like b one b two have to be distinct so like y one y uh hold oh sorry this is not equal to can hold for at most, uh, so x i equal to x i plus one can hold for at most one i. Yeah, so like if we, if we assume that there exists some element which repeats, so like we have r choices to repeat because two or br, we have r choices to repeat, and when you repeat, uh, that that actually let's say some for some j, so like this is zero, this is one, and like all b j plus the back terms are zero, so that that actually fixes the zero and one ordering. Uh, so these are our choices and like let's say if you do not repeat any number 
so it's like b1 either like uh, what you can have is either uh, 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 all like only the uh, either all the terms are zero r minus two terms are zero and like this is one 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 so on or like you can have zero one 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 and um this is this are uh this is all ones so like this these are r plus one choices so basically if there are all distinct terms in, in the in the set in this set then like you, you can of course choose them in minus one choose r ways basically r plus r plus one so that is two r plus one so r goes from one to m minus one m plus m minus one choose r into two r plus one and like they make up the whole whole a whole set so we can just add them so total number of sequences we'll get is one two to the m minus one plus sigma r equal to one to m minus one m minus one choose make it two to the m then uh so now this you can simplify as it's m minus one choose r into r plus sigma r sorry m minus one choose r. So basically, uh, this by the combinatorial identity we know it is two into m minus one m minus one minus one because like zero is excluded here. So that that, that would give us um and this is like cancel. This cancels with this. Um, so it is now two to the one into m minus two to the m minus one. Two to two to the m minus one to m plus two. Okay, so this is the solution. You get what was required. Um, like the recursion solution is quite cleaner, but this is I think it's nice. Uh, hope.